Hi everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. It's a really beautiful day today, so I thought I'd read outside again. Biscuit is standing over me and Muffin is behind me and they're ready to listen. We didn't really get to talk about body parts this year, but I'm sure that you guys have lots of questions. Did you ever feel like you're just falling apart when you experience something like your tooth coming out? Well, that's what happens to this boy. It's called Parts and it's by Ted Arnold. And it's really funny. So don't take it seriously. I just don't know what's going on or why it has to be, but every day it's something worse. What's happening to me? <laughs> you can tell he's already a worrier. I think it was three days ago, I first became aware that in my comb were caught a couple pieces of my hair. I stared at them, amazed and more than just a bit appalled to think that I was only five and starting to go bald. <laughs> you think he's really going bald? No. Then later on, I don't recall exactly when it was, I lifted up my shirt and found a little piece of fuzz. I stared at it, amazed and wondered, what's this all about? But then I understood, it was my stuffing coming out. Excuse me, Biscuit, they want to see the pictures. Next day, when I was outside playing with the water hose, I saw that little bits of skin were peeling off my toes. He sure is a warrior. I stared at them amazed and then I gave a little groan to think that pretty soon I might be peeled down to the bone. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> Then yesterday before my bath, as I took off my clothes, a chunk of something gray and wet fell right out of my nose. Gross. <laughs> I love this thing. I stared at it amazed and thought, I should be feeling pain. Well, wouldn't you if you just lost a little piece of brain? Did he really lose a piece of his brain? No. Hypochondriac, there's a word. So now today I'm sitting here enjoying Dr. Seuss and suddenly I realize a tooth is coming loose. I'm sure you guys are starting to experience that. I wiggled it amazed, dismayed, too horrified to speak. Without my teeth, how can I eat? Already, I feel weak. And now I'm really worried. I'm as scared as I can be, because finally what's happening is very clear to see. The glue that holds our parts together isn't holding me. And now I'm thinking to myself, what's next in line to go? Might be my ears, might be my eyeballs. How's a kid to know? <laughs> He's losing his eyeballs. I don't think so. One day I might be playing ball and have my arm fall off. Or maybe I could lose my head if suddenly I cough. He's so silly, isn't he? <laughs> Quite soon I'll be in pieces, in a pile without a shape, 
Thank goodness dad keeps lots and lots and lots of masking tape. He thinks he's holding himself together with tape. What? You forgot to tell me teeth fall out? And when they do, some brand new teeth will soon begin to sprout? His parents are trying to explain it to him. <laughs> they forgot to tell him. My hair, my skin, and everything? There's nothing I should fear? So all of me is normal? Whew, that's really good to hear. Then tell me, what's this yellow stuff I got out of my ear? <laughs> I think we're all perfectly normal, don't you? Isn't that a cute book? I have another one. I'll have to read that one next time. This one is called Parts by Ted Arnold. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you. Miss you. Bye.